My name is Abby Hook. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I am a coach for the practice of Open Standards. Open Standards is a structured decision-making approach that allows you to really link your action to the impact that you have on the ground for your conservation. Um, it takes into consideration both species and habitats, as well as the way that humans use those species and habitats. Um, it is a performance measurement system, as well as an adaptive management approach. The Open Standards was put together by the Nature Conservancy, World Wildlife Fund, and Foundations of Success to come up with the best strategic planning tool that allowed you to define your, your performance measures early on so that you didn't have to wait 10 or 15 years to see how the status of your ecosystem changed. Instead, you could look at your progress after a year or after three years and know you'd be able to say more uh, definitively whether or not you were having the outcome that you would expect. And then that way you can course correct. You don't have to wait 15 years or millions of dollars before you know whether or not your strategy was effective. In any area we have, whether it's a small jurisdiction or a large site scale preserve, there are many ways that we want to preserve the environment as well as the way that people use it. An example might be uh, a city that has large floodplain areas where there's agriculture and salmon recovery goals. We want to recognize that both are important, both require a certain amount of acreage, and we know that sometimes when you do salmon recovery, you are foregoing agricultural opportunity. The Open Standards allows you to get together and define what floodplain habitat looks like when it's healthy, healthy for salmon, as well as how agriculture might use floodplain habitat for production. In acknowledging both of these goals, we can move forward with an explicit way to uh, honor both goals and plan to have the best uh, multiple benefit outcome. I think that the open standards approach is particularly critical as you think about how you link into an, uh, a wider system. Open standards provides a very structured decision making approach. It allows for, again, very different viewpoints to come together and create a common vision. It also provides a little bit of a framework so that you could compare yourself to what different jurisdictions are doing, perhaps on a, a lateral level, or perhaps what the province is doing or the federal agencies are doing to see how you fit within that process. If we standardize the way we talk about conservation as it relates to our natural systems as well as the way that humans use that natural system, we'll be able to better integrate both horizontally and vertically.